In this series, we tell the story of a single month of frontier violence in the 1820s New South Wales Hunter Valley. Plans to expand a Glencore coal mine and relocate a colonial property have local Aboriginal groups up in arms. Archaeologists and traditional owners believe that the Ravensworth homestead was used as a staging ground for a series of atrocities against the Wannara people. Following the police killings of a group of Aboriginal men and the display of their bodies in early August 1826, tensions are high in the Hunter. In late August, around 200 Aboriginal warriors arrive at the homestead of a wealthy settler family, the Ogilvies, west of Ravensworth. The Europeans were attacking our people. They were mm. taking their women and raping them or stealing their land. You know, there's even, you know, old folklore stories here where the local mobs were stealing sheep and that. Mm. You know, I mean, they probably were eating them, but they, mm. they knew it was a, 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 an ongoing source for the Europeans and they were burning crops and all sorts of things. You know, because they were effectively ploughing up the areas that our people used to use to harvest, you know, seed and that, the women and that. So all of our normal farmland back at the time, as we've seen it and managed the land, was now being just stolen. Records suggest that Mrs Ogilvy spoke to the leader of the group. After a tense exchange, violence was avoided on this occasion and they left. But on August 28, the hut of Richard Alcorn is attacked at Fowbrook an outpost on the very edge of colonial expansion onto Wannara land. Two Europeans are killed and two are wounded. Our people at the time were then effectively shaming or trying to shame the farmers. I mean, there was the attack on Alcorn, which was, you know, getting to the top end of the severity that was going on here. But prior to that, there was, there was raids, there was stripping of white people, taking their clothes and just shaming them. You know, it was a signal to say enough's enough. Calls for retribution against Wannara people following the death of the Europeans are strong. We shall never depart that the system of terror is the only one to be adopted towards them, thunders the Australian newspaper. Magistrate Robert Scott sends a party of 14 mounted police, Aboriginal trackers and settlers in pursuit of those who attacked Alcorn's property. Their departure will lead to one of the largest massacres in Australian history. What we see from this history is that any effort by the Wannara people to defend their land is met with escalating violence and severe retribution by the colonial state. This wasn't tit for tat. This was a conscious effort to destroy the Wannara people and their connection with land. This hunting party of mounted police in response to the efforts by the Wannara people to defend their land from invasion set the scenes for what became one of the bloodiest days of violent dispossession in the Hunter Valley.